Hello, welcome back. This is part two of series of videos to create industry standard Flutter application. If you are coming to this video without watching the first part, I would highly recommend you to watch part one first. It is very important to get the idea of what we are building before we start to code. We are building a movie app with best coding practices and tools out there. In previous video, I have explained how our folder structure is going to be and we will use clean architecture concepts. Since we are using TMDB API to fetch the movies, let's create TMDB API key. Open tmdb.org login and register or login to the website. Once logged in, you can go to settings by visiting settings and account. From left side menu, open API section and copy the value under API key v3 auth. Also read the URL of example API request because you will need as the base URL while making the API calls. Open the project. Create a file api underscore constraints dot dart in core folder under data folder. You will create a class api constraints. And since this class should not be instantiated from outside, you should declare its constructor as private. As stated above, the base URL to make API call is this. You will also put the API key in this file. I recommend that you create your own because I may turn it down after this series. The image paths that you get from TMDB API are in this format. In order to load images, you have to prepend base image URL with this image file. Now that we have our API key and we have the constraints in our code, let's see how the TMDB API response is. Head on to API docs of TMDB with version 3. Select trending from left menu. On the right side, you can see the details of trending API. You can explore more on this, but two things that are very important are media type and time window. As this is a movie app, media time will be movie always, and you can select time window as day. Open try, out, try it out tab and select movie as media type, day as time window, and put the API key in the API field. Now you can press send request button and you will see the request and response. You can read the whole URL and verify the base URL that we have put in our API constraints file. Now we have response of trending movies in front of us. So let's copy this response and create Dart model from it. Now you can just type on Google Chrome or any browser that you wish. You can type JSON to Dart. And the first link that you will see is this one. Paste the response in the text box. Name the class as movies result model. And you will see when you click on the generate button, you will see a file generated for you. Create a Dart file in data slash models folder. and paste the code generated from json to dart. Have a look at the fields that are created. The class generated has a list of movies. As I will not be showing you pagination, you can delete fields related to pagination like total pages and total results. To further simplify code, you can take out results class out of this file and create a separate file which can be named as movie underscore model model dot dot. You can name the class as well as movie model. So 
So here are the two classes that you will have. You can open perfect.yml and add these two dependencies. First will be equitable. In Dart, comparison of objects is easier when you use equitable plugin. Second will be HTTP plugin, which is used to make network calls. Let's move to domain layer for some time. Under domain folder, in the entities folder, create movie entity class. Now think of the fields you will need in the application because no way you are using all the fields together at the same time on the screen. The fields that will be required will be mostly ID, poster path, backdrop path, title, vote average, release date and overview. Some fields are still extra but you will have to use them later in the series when we do favorite movies declare the fields that we finalized which will be shown in the UI as final in this class. Extend this class with equitable and override props and stringify method. Props method you can override with id and the title. Now when you override stringify Whenever you print a movie object, you will be able to see ID and title in the console. To properly tie movie model and movie entity and execute clean architecture, extend movie model with movie entity. This will help in separating out domain and data layer. Now that movie model is extending movie entity, there, are, there will be some changes that has to be done to the movie model class. First, you will make all the fields as final. Then, because all the fields are as final, from JSON method has to be a factory method. And instead of assigning values directly, return the view model object with the new values. Also, use super constructor to assign the values to movie entity. This way, whenever you convert movie model to movie en in entity instance, you can get the required fields with correct non-null values. There is a tip. When you are declaring any field as double in models, be completely sure that it will always be returned as double from the API. If it is returned as int, convert library fails to parse it. Either you can declare this as num or use two double function with the safe operators. You will write JSON popularity question mark dot two double double question mark zero dot zero. This will parse int to double if int is returned from the API as well as if it is returned as null 0, 0.0 will be the default value of popularity. Additionally, you can give more default values to all the model fields. Now we have movie entity movie model. So let's create a data source. Let's focus on making network calls now to fill up the models and entities. Create a file movie remote data source dot dot in data slash data sources folder. Create an abstract class movie remote data source with one function as of now. This method will call TMDB API for trending movies by day. In the same file, add the implementation of the abstract class. Declare a final field client at the top and create constructor of movie remote data source with instance of client from HTTP package. The client will be private variable. Now we will use client to make get API calls for the trending movies. First. You will create the path. You will have your base URL, then trending slash movie slash day, and then the API key. Second, in the headers, you will use JSON because TMDB API will result in JSON format. Third, check whether service has given success response or it has failed. 
at fourth place pass the json response and get the body body will have the exact json that we copied and pasted in json2 dot tool to create models fifth you will now use from json factory method to pass the json response to the model notice we only require list of movies hence after passing you will only get movies from movie result model finally you will return the movies in case service has responded with error results you will throw exception from the data layer itself now we have created get trending function let's try to call this function from main dot dot till the time i don't create ui i can show you that our network calls are working fine and giving us the desired results by directly calling from main dot dot open main dot dot and before calling run app you can call get trending function by invoking movie remote data source get trending method so first instantiate data source and pass the client from http package second you will write data source dot get trending which will call the function once you run the app in the console you can see the movies list with each movie id and title because in props we passed id and title after doing get trending it is very easy to implement more some apis so let's do get popular movies as well let's add one more api call quickly create another function get popular in the abstract class movie remote data source which will call different api to fetch popular movies after adding this you will have to implement get popular method in the implementation class as well fortunately there is only url path change which is now movie slash popular so let's change the url path to that and run it in the same manner that you called get trending method similarly you will also call get popular method and this time you will see popular movies being printed on the console when you run from main dot dot even though till now we have added two methods only already you might have seen some repeated code so let's move out the common code to a separate file that's what core folders are for create api client dot dot in data slash core folder in api client class add client as its only final field and also create the constructor with it the similar way we did it for data source now create a get method with dynamic as its return type because this can return any type of model as its first line we will directly call the get method of the client with the path and the header the same way we did in data source then we will also check for the status code as 200 and then parse the body we will return this body directly to the calling method which will be nothing but the method from the data source the get trending method and the get popular method so now we have moved most of the code to this method and now we can update the data source implementation with very simple code you will now use api client instead of client so call the get method from api client with the path required to fetch trending movies which will be nothing but trending slash movie slash day and for popular it will be movie slash popular
Now in the main dot dart, you need to again change uh, by calling data source and you have to now pass API client as the input parameter for the constructor instead of client. Output will be completely same. There will be no changes in the output. You will be successfully calling get trending and get popular movies. And you have also moved your code to a separate file. For home screen, we need two more methods get playing now and get coming soon movies. So let's go ahead and add these two methods as well. First, add get playing now and get coming soon in the abstract class and then implement them in the implementation class. The URL for get coming soon movies, it will be movie slash upcoming. And for get playing now will be movie slash now underscore playing. After doing this, you can again from the main dot dart file, you can again call these two methods and verify whether you are getting response or not. By this, we have come to an end in this video. This was all about making network calls. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in learning something or other, then it would be great if you can like the video. I will love to hear back from you. Also, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe and toggle on the notifications so you will not miss on the future videos in this series. See you in the next video.